Hello viewers, welcome to this video. I am Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Right, um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can run uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana in Docker containers. Um, I've, done, I've done a video on this already, uh, but that's um, with version 6.5.4. And now I wanted to do that on version uh, 7.1.1. So um, a user uh, tried my... Uh, uh, Docker Compose file from the uh, GitHub repository, which I originally created for 654, uh, but unfortunately the same Docker Compose file wouldn't work for uh, version 7. There were some minor changes, so um, I've created a new Docker Compose file, and this is going to be a quick video, and I'll show you how um, you can spin up a Docker container for Elasticsearch and uh, Kibana. If you want to um, look at my previous video, if you go to YouTube and search for um, Docker containers, ELK Docker containers. So ELK stack in Docker. So that's the video there, um, Elasticsearch 2, running ELK stack in Docker containers. So that's with version 6.5.4. OK, so. Um, let me clone my GitHub repository first. I'm going to go to the play directory. That's where I do all my uh, development stuff. Uh, git clone https github.com slash just me and open source slash elk. So I'll put this uh, link in the description if you want to um, check out this uh, repository. cd to play directory and um, okay so cd to elk cd to docker and if you take a look here this docker compose.yaml file is the original file that i created for um, this video here elk stack in docker let's take a look at that one first docker compose dot yaml so we've got the elastic search <coughs> excuse me bear in mind uh, the docker compose that i've got is not a cluster setup so elastic search is a single container and kibana is a single container um, but if you want a cluster setup uh, you can go to elastic.co and uh, you can follow the docker compose file they've got there but they've got a separate docker compose for elastic search and kibana i've put them together with some minor modifications so if you go to, <coughs> excuse me, if you search for install Elasticsearch in Docker, install Elasticsearch with Docker, so there you will have the Docker Compose file. So if you look here, this is the Docker Compose file they've got, and uh, they are setting it up as a cluster of two nodes ESO1 Elasticsearch 01 and Elasticsearch 02. <coughs> okay um, so that's the um, file for version 6.5.4 as you can see here. Now let's like, take a look at the uh, the version 7.1.1 Docker Compose version 7.1.1 YAML. So most of them is going to be the same except um, these options. So if you uh, looked at the previous uh, Docker Compose for 6.5.4, I had only two options, bootstrap, memory underscore log, and the Java options, what's the uh, minimum and maximum uh, perm gen space, heap space. But for 7.1.1, if you just edit the uh, same 6.5.4 Docker Compose and change that to 7.1.1, it won't work. Uh, well, the Kibana container will launch, will start without any issues, but the Elasticsearch would fail to start. So these are the additional options uh, you need to set as an environment variable. Node name, Elasticsearch, discovery.seed hosts, Elasticsearch, cluster.initial master nodes. Don't worry about the cluster, but since we have got just one node, uh, the initial master nodes will be Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch is the name of the container, which we have defined here, Elasticsearch, and uh, cluster.name docker cluster. So that's, that's not, that's optional, but uh, I've included for completeness sake. Okay, so that's all it is. 
So now we can do a Docker Compose up. Uh, but since we have got two Docker Compose file, I'm going to delete the old version. And I'm going to rename Docker Compose version 7.1.1 to Docker Compose.yaml. So now we are good. We can do Docker Compose up um, minus D. Okay, so now that's going to pull the Elasticsearch container. So this is the first time I'm running. So it's pulling the container uh, 7.1.1. I already had the 6.5.4 container. So once it's downloaded the uh, the images, the various uh, Docker container layers for Elasticsearch, it will download the Kibana and then it will start the Elasticsearch service first and then the Docker service, sorry, the uh, Kibana service. Then we can uh, take a look at how to access it uh, from the web dashboard. Um, if you notice, uh, there are lots of difference between the version 6.5.4 and version 7. The UI, the main difference you will see is on the uh, the web interface UI, the uh, the design, the the layout, and they've added a few more features. So this video is not a deep dive into uh, the Elasticsearch dashboard, but it's just to show you that I've got a new version of Docker Compose for version 7 for, for whoever wants it. Because there was one viewer who tried using my 6.5.4 and he wanted to uh, deploy the latest version 7.5. Sorry, 7.1.1, which didn't work. And then I made some research to find out that there are like a couple of options you need to add, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so this download is going to take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video here and come back when it's ready. All right, uh, the containers, uh, the images have been downloaded and it should run the Elasticsearch in the background. Let's take a look. Um, CD to ELK Docker, which is where my Docker Compose file is. And if I do Docker Compose logs minus F, and you can see Elasticsearch, uh, Kibana is getting started. Previous state yellow, previous message waiting for Elasticsearch. Okay, now let's look at the individual logs. Docker compose logs um, minus F elastic search. Okay, let's exit it with code 78. You know what? I missed one step, which is very vital. Docker compose PS. And you can see Kibana is running an elastic search exited. Um, so I intentionally did this one just to show you that there is one vital step that you need to do, which is to set the um, the VM dot max map count to two six one double four. Um, so that's the kernel parameter that you need to set. Otherwise, uh, Elasticsearch would fail, like it failed in my case. Okay. So uh, to take effect immediately, you have to do sudo sysctl minus w for write and the parameter which is vm dot max map count equals two six two one double four okay that's set and now if i restart the elastic search container it should all be good and if you want to make this change permanent you have to write it to the uh, etc sysctl dot conf or etc sysctl dot d slash um, any name you can give and then uh, you can write it there. So every time you reboot your machine that effect that parameter kernel parameter will be in place. Okay, docker compose restart elastic search. I'm just uh, restarting the elastic search service because this docker compose collectively manages the elastic elastic search and Kibana. I only wanted to restart the elastic search service. Docker compose logs minus F elastic search. Okay, and the cluster health status changed from yellow to green. So which means it should be working. Docker compose PS. Okay, Docker elastic search is running 9200 and uh, Kibana is listening on port 5601. Netstat minus NLTP. Yep, we've got 9200 and 5601. We are good and we can go ahead and access the local host at 5601. Localhost colon 
5601. Wow, cool. That's Kibana dashboard loading. And I want to explore on my one. If you want, you can import uh, sample data to look at the graphs straight away. Explore on my own. So as you can see here, uh, the interface has changed slightly. Um, if you want, you can expand the sidebar by clicking this one. And uh, there is a management option here. Um, index management, if you want to create index, index patterns, if you want to create a new index pattern. Uh, if you are installing Logstash um, or if you are sending the files from FileBeat, MetricBeat, HardBeat um, or any other um, log shipper, um, you would have defined an index pattern on the uh, client end. And on this one here, you have to create a new index pattern. And uh, when the data comes into the Elasticsearch, it will automatically be listed down here. Okay, so that's cool. So don't forget this tab, sysctl, which we did earlier. Uh, this one, sudo sysctl minus w to write, and then make it permanent by writing it to the uh, sysctl.con file. Okay, so that's the um, uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana in Docker containers. Uh, the previous one was 6.5.4. Going forward, please use 7.1.1. Always the latest version is better. And if you want more details of what has changed, uh, you can go to the Elastic.co website and look at the uh, change log for version 7.1.1. Cool. Thank you so much for your time uh, watching this video today. I hope you liked it. Um, please share it with your friends. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And um, I've got a few more videos uh, planned, but I haven't actually recorded it. Uh, the, coming, the upcoming videos would be about... Uh, the alerting feature in the Elasticsearch. Uh, I'm not going to be using the XPack alerting, um, but I'm going to be using a, a different tool called Elast Alert, which is a Python um, code, which is a Python application, uh, which you Python module that you can run on any server, and you can uh, create alerting for your um, Elasticsearch. So whenever there is a spike or whatever, whatever you want to watch, whatever you want to be alerted, um, you can configure the alerts um, and you can configure the alerts to be sent to um, a variety of output uh, elements like uh, you can email it, you can send it to Slack channel, you can send it to Jira as a uh, task, service now as a ticket. Um, lots of output plugins are available in Elasticsearch so we'll be going through a few of them in the next few videos so stay tuned. If you've got any doubts um, in this video, if something is not working right uh, using the, uh, the Docker Compose that I've got, uh, the link is in the description for my GitHub repo. Uh, please reach out to me in the comment section and I'll be able to um, help you. Okay, cool. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.